Good morning. I'd like to discuss something with you this morning. In my personal opinion, when you purchase a house or you own a house, as long as you have not paid off yet, in my opinion, you should not be remodeling it, spending more money on it. I think it's safer you put all your money to up in it off first. Let me show you how house. We purchased it a few years ago. It was a fixer up, but that's what I would call it. And when we got in, you know, the wall was very stained. Like, I think from smoke. So, so I, we had it to use a heavy paint primer and paint and I just we just painted ourselves just something we can get down before we got in and I paint the ceiling but I did horrible job because you can still see the stain on the ceiling because it's popcorn ceiling it was hard for me to paint it with what I have so I had it just to I wanted to get something down, so I didn't do a good job with the ceiling. But as you can see, we have been living here for six years. I have, originally I have planned to remodel the kitchen. But over time, I said to myself, well, I would prefer we pay off first. Because as long as the banks own it, we don't own it. They are just trading it on the stock market between investors. We got at least three letters when it was moved from, when Fannie Mae purchased a loan from the bank that gave us that loan us the money, that lent us the money. And later, the, the bank sold it to another bank. And we got a letter from the new bank as well that they are the new servicer of our loan. As you can see, the loan traded hand twice or three times within six years and I told my husband that we need to pay off is a shelter for us it's three bedroom thousand dollar square footage but has a big yard a quarter um, equal land and I told him that I want to pay off because when you don't have mortgage to pay the amount of money you need to live on in a month is not as high when you don't have debts you don't have mortgage you don't need much to live on so advisor will advise to have three to six months of income saved up for emergency fund but here's the things when we only have utilities and groceries to pay or to you know yeah as an expense you don't need a lot it's easy for you to come with three months of those incomes, uh, I mean, those expenses saved up. Or uh, even so, you can purchase food on sale to stock up so that you have about three months of food on hand. You can do that as well. That is my strategy, that's what I do. But we did some work on the house. We called professional for some, we did some ourselves just to be able to move in and live in. The floor you are looking at, we put it down ourselves. And the white is the original floor. But it was so stained that I had it to put another floor on it. So we did it. But over time with the kids, it's getting cheap or moved. But I'm fine. But here, they have a weird arc here that it was ash here that it was hard for us to, to floor. So we use multiple things, and you can see the black, and you can see this. The living room had a carpet. We took it off, and then we put a laminate floor down. So we did those work ourselves. The window, we have a big window here. So what I did is, I just, we still have it on the floor, but I use the original things up there and just use bed sheet as drip for the window. The door routed 
Ik wil een mooi winnen. Zo wie kan een professioneel en garen replies en hier leren. Zo, so, dat zijn daar necessary. We got them down. Zo so, recently, de pipe broke in de wall. En we call a plumber to fix it for us. So you see, he opened the wall to fix the pipe. And now we are going to call a professional to fix the dry wall. So when there is a problem, we save up, we get it done properly. But other than that, We are not doing any major uh, change to the house until we pay off. And we have a different, we have a lot of goals. So we, we are very savvy with our money. The stove that was here was very old. So we replaced it too recently when most burner died on us. We changed the fridge before we even moved in because it was so dirty that I didn't want to go ahead and clean it up. But you can see the cabinets, they are outdated. But it's working just fine for us. And our neighbor, when we move in, we have a neighbor that did a lot of work on our property, on their property, and moved out two years later. The new owner that came in, but guess what? They did, a, they changed, they did, they did some changes there a year or two years later. But pretty much what the previous owner did, they redid it. So, and they, in my opinion, they pay for that because the previous owner did a lot of changes and I believe they sell the, the house, they sold the house at a higher price because of those changes, those renovations. They remodeled the kitchen, the whole kitchen and put that floor in the kitchen. And the new owner, a year or two years later, did the same another room another change to the kitchen and living room as well so and i believe the price he paid for the house was up because was high because of those changes those improvements that the previous owner did but he didn't enjoy it. he didn't yeah benefit from it before he didn't benefit from it before he made other changes to it so unless the house is a fissure rubber like ours, ours has not been updated for years. Just the look at it when we move in. Who live here was frugal, I will say. Didn't do a lot of changes to the house. And our house is over 50 years old. So it will require quite a bit of improvement. But it is not necessary. So when something breaks, we just profit and get it down properly. But if everything was okay, we just go with it. It saves us money to do that. So if you purchase a house and you're trying to pay off our stretches, you don't focus on changing things in it the way you like it. When we move in, I said that I'm going to change this carpet. It's so dirty. But well, it's still here. I painted the basement. I didn't put that floor down all throughout because it was painted red and it stained our feet. So it was really necessary for us to put the floor down here because each time we come down to do laundry, we go up with red feet. And we put the floor down and it was a good thing we did. And I painted all around the basement. But rather than that, we didn't do a lot of changes. They, they side needed to be replaced, many professional told us. But we still have that side now. I just use wood party to patch the holes and paint it over. And it's working just fine until we save money to change it the way we want to change it. So if you are trying to pay off your house, slow down on improvements. Fix things that needs to be fixed and save your money to pay off your house. Once you own it, you can change it any way you want. If you put a lot of money toward improving it, well, you just hope it's yours someday. We don't want you to lose it to the bank. The investor will profit from it. And that's 
how we are dealing how we are handling our house this uh, office that i have in the basement i put the floor down and paint the wall i'm still trying to clean it up so um and that's why it's a little bit out of order here but yeah it's a very nice office for me to work in it doesn't have anything special So don't spend too much money on your house because your neighbors are doing it. Just stay focused on your goal. Work on it to reach whatever you set for yourself. Let's stop living. Let's stop living like the Joneses and just focus on what we want to achieve in life. Thank you for watching. I'm Nina from Nina Soap.